All right, what's going on, guys? Brian back with another live stream. So today we're going to be jumping in with another episode of This Land Is Mine. Um, it's a survival game that we gave a, we played. Now I, I gave this game a very very brief look. Uh, it's it's actually what motivated me to play Red Dead Redemption Two. But um, I had I had a rough start. I didn't understand. A, a lot of the game systems towards the end there, I started to kind of understand how things were working. And I was like, you know what? Let me start this over again and try to play it the right way. Uh, and it seems like there's a lot of people on the channel like the, the, that um, actually are interested in this game right now. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me check it out. Give it a second episode and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. But I definitely want to start a new resistance. Um, I'm going to I now I see it on here. I don't remember what difficulty I started on. But uh, I think I went with immersive, and uh, that was recommended for like uh, um, elite players, I guess you could say. I don't want to go with classic. I don't know, if, uh, but I do want there to be like the drinking, the eating. I still want that type of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do like uh, custom things here. We're, we're just gonna pick our own. So we don't want hardcore mode because that's ridiculous. Boss rush, no. Um, but I do, I did kind of like the realistic damage. Um, so I think I might go with that. We'll go with the realistic needs. And then craft requires campfire nearby. Um, I think I'll, I'll leave that off. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, I don't think it's going to change very much being able to craft whenever I want. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Now you can change the world size here, which says really, really cool. It says world size, designate the initial area of the resistance and increase while the... So we'll just go default, I guess. Um, day length long. If you feel that the day cycle is too fast, the night is not enough for your plans, you can increase the day and night length. Okay, so we'll leave everything... Uh, we'll leave everything long. Realistic nights. Makes the nights in the game quite dark and realistic to improve immersion. We'll go with that. Sure, why not? And um, enemy reaction time. We'll leave that uh, default. Disable detection indicator. No, realistic HUD. Disable fat. So we'll leave all that stuff normal, and we'll start. Zach, how you doing? Peter, uh, it's, it's live live? I know that they said that it was going live on the PTR. I didn't know if they were making it live, though, on... Uh, the actual game that's pretty sweet if they did um uh, but i got a huge copyright strike uh playing this game last time like huge um i guess a lot of the music in the game is copywritten so i actually had to turn that shit off this time around okay our name this time will be uh I don't know what's what's a cool like ninja stealthy uh Native American name. Yeah, they hit me pretty hard with the copyright uh claims on the music. Um I don't know. I'm trying to think. Dog <laughs> Connor, dude. Yo. Runs with. What happened, sexy? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get what you're saying. It makes no sense at all. You just stream. Oh, you mean with the yeah, with the music, right? That's what I'm saying. It made no sense. But the, some of the music in the game, I, I don't, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's really, really weird that they would that so like, it, and it's like the normal music that plays in the background as you're playing the game is copyright. And I'm like, I've, I've never seen like background music in a game be copywritten before and like never before i think i had it once happen and that was in uh one of the telltale walking dead games hunts with wolves Ooh. i 
how, how about, yeah, how about, um, our name, I, I got, I got the perfect name, guys. It's not really going to be much of a Native American name, but, um, oh, you ready for this? There it is. There it is. That's straight facts. That, that name is so true that you guys can't even deny it. It's, it's crazy that I was able to come up with that. My name is not a lie. That's the most true statement I could ever say. <laughs> it, 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 oh, hold on, hold on. This one. Maxed out herbalism, passive, improved spyglass. Yo, that's really, really good. I think I might go with that. Starting out with maxed out herbalism. Just trying to see if improved intimi intimidation. Uh, warriors extra gathering. Yo, that's really good too, but that's a huge health loss right there. So this is maxed out herbalism. Uh, we get warriors with extra weight, maxed out skinning, but we lose 171 stamina. <laughs> Mini me. <laughs> Your name changes your stats? Hold on, do you guys see that? Whoa, 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 that, that's really, really cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you guys see that? Your name changes your stats does anybody know what the best name is because <laughs> look at that if i make my name silent right and i'm on the goose i get maxed out herbalism warriors with extra weight maxed out skinning green <laughs> right so i'm on the duck right or the goose if i change my name to death right i get improved spyglass whoa 24,139 skill points right off the bat and i get to and heal wounds oh whoa 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 guys this is this is a really really crazy system Twenty-four thousand skill points. That's really. Cool. I could use those skill points, especially right in the beginning. Now that we know how to kind of use them. Try putting Chad. I mean. Yo, I mean, look at that. You get the lowest camp level, minus seven warriors, but you get 184 weight. Warriors get to carry extra weight, and you get the heal wounds passive. It's 
So take you in your sleep, improved intimidation, stun with a stone. Yo, this is really, really unique. This is a this is a really cool system. We overlooked this completely um, when we, when we played the first time around. Let's go shadow. So maxed out herbalism concentration. All right, babe. Whispering deer. Like, I'm, I'm I, I really can't believe I missed this. What was it, whispering deer? That's not bad, but I don't know, guys. We're, what was it, silent? That gave us the. What was the one that gave us the, the 24,000? Shadowfoot? That's six. What, one was, what was the one that gave us the 24,000? Was it death? Yeah, I don't know. We might go with that. That's a lot of skill points, guys. I can, I can really use that in the beginning of the game. Level my guy's accuracy and stuff up, stuff up right off the bat. Yeah, so you add anything. Yeah, we'll roll with death. All right, his camp is located. So we'll go with the normal start. So yeah, you could literally sit there and spend a lot of time messing around with that and just use different name combinations and try to find something that's super, super good. Resistance of death begins or began. You wonder if it has to be a logical word. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it. If, I don't know how they have that set up. That that's really really cool system though. Okay, so once again we have escaped. Um, okay, we're overloaded. Current. Oh wow. So, I'm just overloaded by existing. Okay, so our we can only carry 10 pounds currently. Um, we're going to have to do something about our carrying capacity. Because, yo, that's terrible. Oh, hold on. All right, where is our camp? Um, so at your camp, from what I remember, there was like a, uh, like a storage locker thing. Let's see here. I didn't, I, well, I didn't even know. Let me see. So, is there... Um, let me see if there's skills that increase weight. Okay, here we go. So, we can use this. Get our weight up to at least in a respectable level so we can walk. Okay, so our weight is up to 70. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and increase bow accuracy. So we got, what, level 2 on bow accuracy. So we can go for level 3 on bow accuracy. Um, 
Increase weapon damage on our bow. Health regen. Go health regen one. Alright, so we started off with some pretty good skills there. We now increased our our carrying capacity a bit. Get some paint on us. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, so you can like change up all your stuff. With the black and white. Alright. So if we want to craft a wooden bow, we gotta go out. Uh, get some more. Okay, so we already have flax. We already got wood. Let's go ahead and craft this bow and arrow. Let's craft up some arrows. For proper resistance, I need more. Um, okay, so if we know the controls, kinda. Let me see. Can I go ahead and control my guys to go out and gather for us? Let me see. So I believe I click on my camp. Send to gather. I'll send one warrior here. Actually, we'll send them both out to gather wood. I don't have anything to equip them with, but they should be okay. Send them both out to gather wood. They won't take horses. Um, all right. So two of my warriors are on the way out to grab wood currently. I'm going to gather some wood myself. I believe this is the only horse we have in our camp. So I'm going to keep that one for myself. But, all right, let's go out and gather some resources. Now, the first things we want to tackle, uh, survival game, we want food and water right off the bat. Um, I don't know if this map is, like, procedurally generated or whatnot. see or if it's the same every time but it's a pretty big map we don't have any humans or anybody or any uh, other settlers near us currently and that's how we're gonna try to keep it for right now at least last time I was like underpowered and just in a real big hurry to like progress death um it's not efficient to gather all these resources on my own especially yep so i already did that i already sent my guys out to get uh the, well they're not gathering flax they're gathering wood i'm gonna gather some flax myself i'll be able to craft up a bunch of bow and arrows for my my team Excellent. How you doing? I am definitely having a great time, man. Hey, item selector. So, um, actually, you can eat the buck brush leaf, and it uh, heals you a bit. Mm. Fireweed leaf. So, we're just doing some uh, herb gathering, resource gathering right now. We got our people back at base doing some wood gathering, and then we'll send them out to grab a bunch of flax also. The only problem is, where the hell am I? I think yep, camp's right there. We're good. Todd, how you doing? We're getting our hands on quite a bit of flax. It's like it's weird. You over like if you get too close to the flax, you can't pick it up. I believe this is that buck brush. Yep. Oh, 
Also some mushrooms here. Uh, red dot mushroom. Oh, maybe it's just because I wasn't looking down. It's all camera based. Yep. Uh, there it is. It's all about where the uh, center of your screen is aiming. So I seen on the map here, it looked like we have rabbits in the area. Um, so once we get back to base, I make some arrows. We're going to go ahead. We'll hunt for rabbits. And we're also going to look for a water source. All right. So we should have plenty of resources currently. So where is the deposit for the camp? I think it's this rack here. Is it this rack? Nope. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so we'll deposit all this stuff. Deposit that. Actually, let me keep all of this. So what I'm going to do is we're going to craft up a few more um, bow and arrows for our group. All right, so we actually need more wood. What the hell? I, I used up... Uh, oh, I, I must not have grabbed that much wood. In my head, I thought I grabbed more wood, but I actually grabbed a bunch of uh, herbs and stuff while we were out and about. I didn't grab a whole lot of wood. Um, so, I, the majors, I think that the game, it might have a procedurally generated map. Uh, we started over again just to uh, have a better start now that I kind of have a rough understanding of how the game operates. How long does it take for the warriors to come back? I, I mean, not, not that I'm in a super rush for them to come back, but. Could have used their wood that they're use, gathering. So the cool thing is it seems like when you send your warriors out, it's not like a randomly generated, like, event. It, it looks like they actually go out and they exist in the world. Um, because I remember we sent our guys out last time and they were being attacked and shit while they were out. So you definitely want to arm your guys if you can. That's why I'm trying to get, uh, some bow and arrows and stuff. Damn. Light's already setting in. I haven't even secured any food or water. I wonder if we could send them out hunting. John, brother, thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate you popping in. John, I'll check that DM out later on, brother. Thank you so much, man. All right, here we go. So, got a bunch of flax. We got still not a whole lot of wood, man. Go ahead and craft one more bow. And don't have enough to craft any more arrows currently. But we do have three bow bows. 
Um, I got five wooden arrows for myself. If I could get one more thing of wood. I can uh, craft another set of arrows, and I think this might work right here. Yep. All right, so let me go ahead and craft one more set of arrows. Now, for the simple actual stone arrows, what do we need for that? That's just wood also, but I have to spend uh, skill points to learn that recipe. Oh, okay, so you can learn all of these by spending skill points. So actually, I'll learn that. They're the same price. But this one can be used with the Sinu black the Sinu backed bow. Which was a uh, high quality. Awesome. So it's really, really dark out. I don't want to travel too far away from the base. Check on the map here. Do I see any Okay, so I think the water is still down here. Go down there, um, secure ourselves some liquid. Let's grab our horse. Now, uh, one of the things I read uh, when I was loading in is it said something about you can drink river water. All right? It's clean. It's considered clean water. But river water too close to settlements, um, the water can be polluted. So they say to not drink. Yeah, the game has... Uh, Motion blur. Is, does it seem like it's really, really high or not high enough? Because I, I turned it down a bit. Might need to be turned down a little bit more, honestly. But I generally wait. See what it looks like off. That's not bad at all. The thing is, you turn off motion blur, it can get in certain games, it can get pretty choppy looking. Okay, it is like super dark right now. Can't even fucking see it. Too much, so much for those realistic nights, right? Is there a way to make like a torch, dude? Or a lantern? So that said something about an outpost. That was uh, one of the, here we go. So we can get an outpost right down here. Uh, let's see if we can get down to that. I believe this is where our camp kind of was last time. It was around some rocks like this. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, here, here we go. So we found this camp here. Oh, it is so dark. Uh, dismount. Okay, so we're going to light up this campfire. Um, we can rest and save. Now, the only problem is resting here is probably going to make us super hungry and super thirsty. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we're very hungry, very thirsty now. We just slept through the night. Um, so we got to get some food and we got to get some water. And my hunter's back at base. Or my, yeah, my hunter's back at base. Let's send them out. So one warrior is working. So we're going to have um, send a gather. We'll grab one warrior. See if we can send him out to gra gather some meat. Yeah, we'll just say uh, he needs a bow. So we'll equip him with a bow. And arrows. We're, heading, we're sending him out to gather some meat. So while my warriors are gathering the most important resources, at least for now, I can spend time up crafting and gathering, gathering or okay. Yep. So 
So while we're out and about too, we could we could look into doing some hunting ourselves. And uh, you can fish. How do I equip my bow? I forgot how to equip it. There we go. So if we've seen any, if we see any fish, we can snipe them out. I got ten arrows, so. Drink some water. No settlements here. So we shouldn't have to worry about uh, getting sick from the water. Can we overdrink? Let's see what we can do for food. Now, I don't know if there's like any natural foods that you could like berries and shit. Right now, for us, fish and um, animals will probably be our best bet. Wish there was a way you could, like, call your horse. Oh, hold on. I see some there. Loot the camp that I left the outpost? What do, you, what do you mean? The bivouac? Oh, that's enemies nearby. Wow, they're really, really close. So we do indeed have a uh, camp really, really close by. What is there to loot? I didn't see anything to loot. That right there. A little pile. This says save. Oh yeah, the little red camp. Yeah, I'm not. Me I'm not messing with that yet. I want to. I, I don't even have food in my belly. We're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, that's, I made that mistake last episode, and I, I pushed the humans right off the bat and uh, paid dearly with a gunshot to my stomach and had no way to heal, no way to do anything. So I want to make sure I take my time and at least have bandages this time. <laughs> All right, so I'm searching for any type of small animals. I could go after the deer, but I, the, the bow and arrow is not going to be an effective weapon against them. I can... Uh, no, no steel bushes. The Not like KCD. KCD has some, some really, really strong bushes. Here we go. I see some fish. Oh, I forgot there's no draw.
Still takes a little getting used to that. I'm so used to like holding a button and to shoot a bow and arrow in most games. It's when you release the button. But in this one, it's like a, almost like a trigger pull to shoot. What sight? I didn't know I had a sight. How, how do you activate the sight? Poor baby. Is she all right, though? She's got to stop. You got to, like, just keep her ass on the grass or something. <laughs> Every single time she goes to the park, she freaking runs and falls and gouges her body open. I have to put, like, knee pads on her. Have her looking like she's going to ride a bicycle. Fish are gone. There we go. Got it. There's one. Oh, she was pushed? By who? So we got a we got a fish. As you guys can see, this early game is we're struggling. Michael, I appreciate it. How you doing? Oh shoot! I didn't even know that was a thing. So, so far we got a fish. Okay, I think I see more down here. Nope. So now with this, I think you can just... I think you can eat this outright. Right, we don't need to cook the fish meat. You see meals. Um, so we can ferment it, we can dry it. Um But in order to dry it, we need uh, we actually need quite a bit of leaves and stuff like that. But I'm wondering if I can just eat the the meat because yeah, I don't have any way to I don't have any of the leaves there to dry it. There we go. See some more fish right here. Damn it. That looks like a monster fish, too. All right, so let me go ahead and just get rid of, uh, see what this does when we eat. I think we can do it from this menu, too, right? So we're still considered a little hungry. There we go. There we go. See some more fishies.
Got it. All right, so yeah, we definitely have enough um, enough food to last us at least two days. And we're gonna, I sent my, I'm gonna send my hunters back out to gather some more food. I don't know if they've already been doing it, but uh, let's see. Send to gather. Yep, so they, they did go out and gather some meat. So we'll send two of my hunt, my uh, warriors out to gather meat. Equip the group with bows. So two bows. Uh, we can actually use some more freaking arrows back at camp. Two bows and one arrow. <laughs> All right, so for right now, we'll send them out to gather uh, some meat. And I might scout out this human camp. Uh, well, we actually, let's look into getting some bandages and stuff first. Yeah, yeah, I took some warriors with me last time, John, when we played. Um... Didn't work out too well, but I did try. Two bows, two bows, one arrow. Don't make it happen. Bunny right there. Hit it. There we go. So what do we get from that? Uh, we got some meat. Three meat from it. So that was a good, a good catch right there. Um, that rabbit. What is that? Well, if one of that, like, marks our land or something. And I gotta make some more arrows for the, for the, uh, for the group when we get back to. As awesome as it is, you know, my guy's over there using the one arrow. Uh, if they get into any fight or anything like that out there, they could pro potentially, I think, get in a lot of trouble if they don't have ammo. Just scanning for, like, more rabbits that I might see on the way back. They're kind of small, so, and the grass is really high. Now, the last time we started, we started off with more horses than what I have here. Uh, we only have, like, the one horse for our whole uh, tribe here. So we're definitely going to have to try to get some more horses. All right, so let me go ahead and we'll deposit all the meat there. We'll deposit that. Deposit that. Craft some more arrows. Put 
gonna take all the wood that my hunters gathered. We're gonna craft some more arrows. Right, here we go. So we'll do, yep. What? Four stacks. Five. I can actually do five. We'll do five full stacks of arrows. go. I'm going to keep this on me. I'm going to have to eat that. And then uh, I'll bring 15 arrows for myself because you know I need more arrows than my, my group. And then uh We'll leave that in there. So, are my hunters already back? Oh, yeah. So, that must have been a short hunt, seeing as they, they just didn't have enough arrows. Um, so, we'll do is again. We'll send them out on another hunt. So, we could send them the tame horses if we could find some wild horses out here. All right, so we'll send them out to gather. Send two warriors. Equip them with bows. Equip them with some arrows. Seven arrows. That should be enough. Give them this one, too. Send them out to gather some more meat. There we go. Now let me look into how to craft bandages. Uh, let me see. Treatment. Um, so I just I want to look at the lowest level bandage, bandage with pearly everlasting. So that seems advanced. Is there just like low level bandages? So we could do the sumac here, but I don't, I don't know what color the sumac leaves are. Yeah, so there is another camp in the area that I was thinking about trying to push. Um, it was like a little bivouac or whatever over in this area. So once we push across the water here, we, we can go scout out those humans. But I wanted to make sure I had um, the basic necessities. You know, if I, if I get injured, shot, something like that, I can take care of the bleeding. I don't know what the sumac leaves look like. We could also send uh, our additional... We have one more warrior back at base. Uh, we could send him out to gather uh, some sumac. See sumac, sumac. Oh, I, I can't even choose sumac as an option. So we'll send them out to still gather. There's no point in them just sitting around doing nothing. So we'll send them out to get. Have them get some stone. Fire, we'd leave. Okay. 
What is this? Loot here. Wow. Oh, nice. Look at this. Um, so we found this. What is this? So it doesn't even show up on the map as anything. But there's like some old abandoned like campsite here or something like that. I was able to find myself a field aid bandage, which that seems really good. Uh, army first aid bag. Uh, the flint. Uh, deer skull. Some medicine. Tight bandage. And some 54 cal. Well, that actually just solved a lot of our issues when it comes to heals. Well, let's head back to camp. Now that we have those bandages and shit, we'll definitely go ahead and uh, scout out that human camp. Or the humans. I keep calling them human. Um, the settlers or whatnot. Might have some horses, too, that we could take. Alright, so we'll go ahead and store up all this stuff. Medicine, what is this good for? So this treats uh, pretty much everything. Wow. Blood vomiting. <laughs> treats blood vomiting. We could have used that last time around. Uh, flint is a crafting ingredient. All right, so this is for uh, punctures, light bleeding, festering wounds, infections, and fractures. So I'll keep this army first aid bag on me, um, just in case we take any damage while we're out fighting. I will also take this trout out, cut it up. Got a little bit of food on me, and let's head out and scout this. Uh... Oh, we do got another horse. Where the hell did we get a horse from? I think we might have had another warrior join us. Nope. So we're still at three out of eight warriors. But our people got us an extra horse. Well, it said something about make bond. Okay, so this will, yeah, this will be my horse. I do this. So why can't, oh. Like, we got the improved bag. How the hell did we get the improved bag? Is it because of its name? Okay, awesome. We were traveling that whole time on the horse, and uh, we didn't claim it like it's our own, so we didn't even have saddlebags on it. Why do I name every horse Roach? Because every horse is Roach. And well, if I don't make up the rules, that's what Geralt said. Okay, so we're going to head up here. We'll follow the road down and uh, try to get eyes on that bivouac again. Micah. Micah's a good guy. We haven't had any issues with Micah yet, guys. I don't know why everybody... I mean, I, I didn't like Micah when we first met him. But he's growing on me. Hmm. How do I switch my arrows? Do I not? Wow. 
So these arrows I grabbed, thank God we checked before we left. Um, I can't even use them with the bow and arrow that I have. Actually, let me see. I think we can maybe craft a... I need, I need some flax, I believe. Bows. So we need... Can these be used in an ash bow? No, we need a, need a hunter's bow, ancestor, or a, uh, a sinew bow. So we can learn how to craft the hunter bow, but we need sinew for that. Shit, man, I crafted these arrows. I can't even use them. That's that's super frustrating. I should have I should have uh, read it properly. And it's not that it's a bad thing, like frustrating, like oh my god, this sucks. It's just it's frustrating for me that I didn't take the time to actually make sure I had the bow, the proper bow. This is camp. Oh, okay. There it is. So I gave them guys the arrows too, and they can't even use them. My hunters. I guarantee they're already back. Damn, we, we wasted a lot of wood on that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to send out a war party or a hunting party, gathering party, whatever the hell you want to call it. We'll send these guys out to gather more wood. Gather wood. Let them take a horse. Not enough horses, damn it. So I'll send one guy out to get wood with a horse. That should work, right? Let him go out and do his thing. Now, I do have 18 wooden, regular wooden arrows, so we'll, we'll take all of those. Let's get some sleep. We'll head out in the morning. Go scout that camp. Why not sleeper? What the hell? Rest and save. Sinu comes from all animals, but buffalo, really? All right, now let's try this again. Very hungry, very thirsty. the road. Zach, how you doing? So we're still a little hungry. We're going to grab some water here before we uh, head over. Attack camps at night. Yeah, well, we're, right now I'm not even going to attack. I'm just going to kind of scout. I want to see how many are even there.
Oh, I got something going on. Stomach ache. Huh. So what did we do to get a stomach ache? Oh, what the hell is this? I got medicine back at base, but... Eating raw fish? Uh, so can you, you can eat the white fish, but raw, but you can't eat the red fish raw? Damn. I can actually make the fermented fish meat pretty easily. Hopefully that doesn't um, mess me up too bad. Another campus right down this way. So we'll leave our horse here. Try to get in close. We're going to do a little scout. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is way built up. What the hell? In our first game, they, they just had, it was like a little, like, bunch of tents and shit. This has got like a real, like a building. So I don't think, yeah, I don't, I, hold on, let's try to get close. So it doesn't seem like there's any, uh... People patrol. Oh, I see somebody over there. Killing is not always uh, the only way to deal with enemies at close range. When you're close enough to an enemy, you can trigger an interrogation by F. In interrogation, you can obtain useful information. Note. Okay. This is really, really built up. Holy crap. Got two guys over on that wagon there. Somebody chopping wood over there. So, what you guys are saying is we should be a little less lethal than we were our first time we played. But man, they got they got some good stuff here. They got horses, but the only thing I'm, I'm worried about is they're like, they're really, really built up. Oh, what the hell is this? 
There's like a fort nearby. Camp McKean? Well protected settlement? So maybe we'll come back at night and we'll just kind of raid while people are sleeping. Try to be less hostile this time around. Because from what you guys said, the humans react to how you, you play. They react to how you... Uh, I remember the... Uh, was the last episode? They, they, they knew I attacked more during the day. So they, like, responded to it. Let me see. So we're going to go ahead and... There is an outpost up here that we could claim. We also have the one here. But this says there's a bear over there. Need to go to the room camp to see if there's any useful items left in the hidden storage. Let's check that out really quick. I go poke the bear. We got a stomach ache, so I'm not gonna risk it. We're not gonna risk it with our stomach ache, you know? Yeah, rooting them out of there is going to be a pain in my butt. Now, can settlements get bigger? Or is it like there's just bigger settlements? You know what I mean? Like this forest bivouac isn't going to turn into like a town one day, right? I don't know. So I know people said that like stuff expands and stuff. I don't know. It was It was a weird system. I didn't understand what chat was trying to say last time. So I don't think games grow, like cities grow. That doesn't make sense. That'd be too... That'd be too cool. So it's right over here across. Yep, I can see it right there. Massacre is the work of Elliot Hall's gang. It's their sixth style. I need to interrogate Elliot Hall. And learn who the best that sent the... Oh, okay. So, Elliot Hall's gang's over here. Man, yo. It seems like we have a lot more settlements around us this time. Or maybe it's just because I'm moving around a little more than before. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Man, there's some really good stuff here. Gunpowder, some medium arrows, sumac tea, big spike traps. So I wonder if we should put some of these traps around my uh, my base. So I'll store that. Store that for now. Sound bait. So this em emits loud noise after 30 seconds. So we can use that to distract. That's pretty dope. Um, kills humans and all animals. So we could start using these uh, 
these traps and stuff. Gunpowder charge, universal door, and gate opener. Oh. Uh, fireweed decoction, that relieves mild thirst. Awesome. On our horse for now. For fever. Light bleeding. Puncture. Heavy bleeding. Cholera. And typhoid. Awesome. Put all this on a horse for right now. Uh, here we go. And sit it back. Oh, and we got the arrows. Use a spike trap, trap to fight the bear. That definitely takes some pre-planning, but that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Alright, so we got this gang here, which obviously they are hostile towards natives. Um, we have to figure out what the hell we can do with them. Also very hungry. Uh, so fermented meat, we need the buck, brush, and wood. Or for the fermented fish meat. Jose Albino donated five dollars. I heard you like mom jokes. I'm not a fan, but I have a few. Your mom is so fat, she stepped on a dollar bill and made change. <laughs> Jose, what's going on, brother? How you doing today? That was pretty good, dude. So we need buck brush and some sticks. And I can ferment this uh, fish meat right now and we can eat. Without risking uh, making ourselves sick. We had a ton of it up near where we lived. The buck brush. There, I think that's some right there. What is this? Oh, we found some sumac. Right here. I think this is it. Yep. Jose Albino donated $5. Your mom is so poor, her boobs are real. <laughs> now that was good. Crystal would have liked that one. Now, those are the mom those are modern day yo mama jokes. Like that wouldn't even have made sense back like when we were growing up. That, is that the mama joke? Uh, the joke was, your mom is so poor, her boobs are... All right, so let's go ahead and see. Now, I think we can just ferment the... F yep, there we go. So we'll ferment this fish. We're going to eat it. Very hungry, very thirsty.
All right, let's go scope, scout out this camp really quick. Do I have to even heal my stomach though? I didn't I didn't feel like it was hurting me all that much. Or is it just does it not go away? Yeah, we just got a ton of meat from that and some sinew. Alright, so the bow and arrow is pretty effective against the uh the deer, as you guys can see. I was able to drop it with an arrow. Right to the head. Prickly pear tea. That will help my stomach. Alright, so let's store all that meat up. Store the sinew up. We can actually smoke some of this meat. If we get some more wood. No, I think I actually have enough wood. So how many how many meat does it take? Two per craft. So we'll do four all together. One, two. So it's way easier to smoke the meat than it is to ferment the fish, hands down. Okay, so I just drank that tea. I don't know if it's going to do anything for my stomach. But I did drink it. No, I didn't. Did I drink it? I, oh, I drank the other freaking thing, didn't I? Here we go. Use. Rosa, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. All right, I drank the cholera tea. Um, so Jared asked, "How big is this world?" It's 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 pretty big, man. Um, we started off here, and we're literally just over in the next region, but the map goes like, all, it's it's big, it's pretty big. There's even like over here. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big map. All right, before it gets dark, we're going to go up here and scout out this camp. So I drank that, that, that tea. Oh, I think it is doing something. Yep. There it is. They healed up my stomach pretty nice, that cholera tea. We just got to figure out what the... Ooh. Nice. Imagine if we got another deer. We can also send our, uh, our warriors out to get some, some meat also now. Send to gather, send two warriors out, gather meat, equip them with bows and arrows, there they go.
Lee, we got the medic in the house, brother. Thank you so much. We always need Doc. Welcome to the James with the five months, brother. How you doing? We're uh, coming up to the high ground here. Council Groves. Swanee donated five dollars. What is that? Smartness runs in my family. When I went to school, I was so smart. My teacher was in my class for five years. Everything that goes up must come down. But there comes a time when not everything that's down can <laughs> come up. That's <laughs> Swanee brother. Thank you so much, man. What is that? Uh, see, this is way different, guys. Um, Welcome to the family, son. Cat team with the seven months. We never had settlements like this in our first, when we first started playing. This place is huge. Are they still in the process of building it? Sounds like they're still building it. Yeah. It definitely says nine months. <laughs> so to answer, hey, you see how they're like building this and they have the wood? Now, does this actually build or is this like one of those, you know, like... It's like an event and it just kind of goes on forever or does this will this place eventually actually be built all the way up Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to... It's like a full-blown fort. They got walls. They got towers. And this is, uh... This is for that gang. It's another, uh, outpost up here we could claim. I think it, we might actually want to clear this camp out. I was worried about the bivouac that was to the south of this. But this looks like way more of a problem. Yeah, this seems like way more of a problem than uh, those, like, literally, it's just like some farm group down, down south before, but this is a group of bandits that killed natives. They're building up some type of fort thing, so we're going to come back here in the night, and uh, maybe we'll take care of them. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know if we should kill them. They're hostile towards natives, um, as we've seen the massacre down there so in my opinion I mean I think we could probably kill them where's my horse at But are the, all the humans in this game, like, instant hostile, like, shoot on sight any natives they see? Or is it not? It, it, can some of them be friendly? Thank you. 
Not all? Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Rock4, thank you for the sub. I guess the only way to find out is is whether whether they shoot at you or not. Okay, our, our camp is right down here. Actually, it's about to be night right now. I don't even have to go. So let me grab this Bambi. I don't think you can walk into most without being treated as an enemy. Maybe as your reputation grows. Well, seeing as these guys are bandits, I doubt there's any, you know... Good relationship with these these guys. So that's why we're gonna we're gonna kinda let time pass here. Now I don't know if there is there like a button to like pass time? Like if I want it to be nighttime. We've traded out one of the forts before. Nelly, hey, thank you so much for hey popping out the shadows to tell us you're all right. people walking around in there still Let's see here skills how many points do we have we're up to 2900 um your wounds i'm trying to see if there's anything like scout or stealth improved intimidation decreased intimidation time to nine seconds reveal territory Reveals uh, more territory around you by 30%. That's pretty good. Hunter. Concentration grants you the ability to use stamina to slow down time. Sounded like somebody was right near me. Uh, herbalism, sneak. Here we go. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta get some more skill Stephanie points. Stephanie Mayer donated fifty dollars. Stephanie, that is a huge donation. Thank you so much. Holy shit! You did not have to do that. I really appreciate it, guys. Let's get some hearts in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. So we gotta interrogate somebody. Just try to find like an outlier. Also, there's something back here we could loot. I think that's one of those like.
And it's one of their carts over here. Let's take the doctor's bag. Glass lens. Death cap mushroom. Sinew. I'm. So we'll take the glass. Take everything. So can we, like, intimidate these guys to get them to halt construction? Because, yeah, if we let them build this up, we're going to be in trouble. It's going to be so hard to get in here. Okay. So definitely some people knocked out. Two guards awake, both standing right there in the middle. Send warriors to loot the kit. Well, the problem is I don't want to risk my warriors getting killed right now. I have I barely have any. And I don't wanna I don't wanna create like a bad relationship with the humans yet. Cause uh I could get really, really bad for us. I keep saying with the humans, with the settlers. Another cart over here I can loot. Yeah, that's empty. How do we get the stun arrows? Let me check out the recipe for that really quick. Knock some dudes out, maybe. Uh, stun arrows. So we need stone and wood. 200 uh, skill points. Might learn that. I don't have any stone on me. But I, I think I sent some of my warriors out to loot for stone. No, I'm going to send them out right now. Yeah, yeah. So we got stone back at base. Awesome. I'm going to send uh, some more guys out to get some, some more stone. And I'll send one more warrior out to gather a little bit more wood. So they only have two people on guard at night. It's not too bad. If I had those stun arrows, I think we'd be able to... Uh, do some damage here. Knock one of them out. Interrogate the other. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll come back here tomorrow night. We might be able to get close and just... Could try to create a distraction. But I don't know if that's going to wake up everybody in the camp. You know what I mean? So I, I do have some distraction items on my horse. Have I ever played Outward? No, I don't. I've never even heard of that. Hold on, I gotta raise my chair up. Ugh, I had this monster glare on my. on my monitor. It's still kind of there, too. Gotta move my. run a little bit. Got some glare. Uh, 
That's better. But yeah, I've never even heard of that. Outward? Not heard of it. Uh, very, very thirsty. So what we're going to try here is we're going to try to grab uh, one of these noise sound baits. And we're going to try to lure them out of the out of the camp. At least one of them. See if we can maybe grab one of them. I thought I had drinks in here somewhere. Fire weed. Yep, yeah, right here. So we'll uh, take one of those. Yeah, I need a flashlight. Yeah. It, it, is, it is pretty dark. But the reason why we're going around at night, we're trying to keep it. Uh, the 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 settlers sleep, and there's less of them patrolling. So where do I, where do I want to place this? You out here. I wonder if this is too far away though. But we'll test it. We'll see what we'll see what it's all about. So. Sound bait. So that's going to go off in about 30 seconds. Let's see if that gathers any, gets uh, one of them to come out to camp. Quite close to me there. Hey, hey, I know you're there. Go, go, go. We're gonna have to go. I thought we were going to be <laughs> I thought we were going to be more sneaky than we were hiding in the bush there. Uh but no, nah, he he's just straight up seen us. He just straight up seen us. All right, let me see. So our chest, yeah, we took a ton of damage. But I used the doctor's bag um and we seem like we're not in a bad shape, I guess. I went exactly as planned, though. Oh, perfect. Most perfect. I can tell you this. It's definitely easier to just kill everybody.
But yeah, the distraction items work really well. They pull people out of the camp. Yo, how you doing? So we're going to have to try to eat and drink, see if we can heal up a little bit. That was terrible, man. How is my camp? It's up to water here. There it is. Yeah, so right there, as you guys can see, they're they're instant ho instantly hostile. They don't they don't care. Shot hungry. Yeah, I know. Hey, it, it could have went better, guys. I, I admit it could have went a little better. Um, I overestimated my my sneakiness, my stealth. By a lot. Let's rest. Wake up in the morning and uh, reevaluate. I might go back to camp, craft up some of those... Uh, Stone arrows? Man, it takes a while to heal up, doesn't it? Uh, I did have something for health regeneration. I forgot what it was, though. I think it was just one of these plants, right? Yeah, so this will give us... Oh, eating. Eating food heals you up, too. Yeah, so let's eat. Awesome. We're good. Let's head back to camp. Go ahead. We're going to try to set, uh, craft up some of those uh, stone arrows. That way we can go the non-lethal approach. But with this camp up here, I don't know, guys. We might just have to go lethal. They, uh... Oh, wait, we're thirsty, too. They're not very friendly. I was just trying. I was just trying to be friends. You know what I mean. I, w I wasn't. I, w I had no intent on killing anybody. I was gonna grab the dude and, and interrogate him. But I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna kill him. I was just gonna knock him out. But instead, he uh, he shot me a couple times. Keyboard. Hey, this game is really really cool, man. Like I said, I. I I didn't play it the right way before, but now when I'm taking my time and, you know, actually building up properly, it it, it feels really, really good. Even though we did just get wrecked, but that was, because, like I said, if I wanted to fight those guys straight up, um, there was only two guys on guard there. I could have easily killed them both, but uh, I was trying to go the non-lethal route. And, uh, yeah, we paid the price. We definitely paid the price. Let's see here. So we're going to do up some crafting. We have a lot of loot here, as you guys can see. Let me grab everything off my horse. All right, so I'm going to put that. 
wonder what the medium arrows are for. We'll keep those on us, too. We'll keep the meat on me. I'm going to cook up. I'm going to smoke up some more meat. So that's just the normal stuff we're going to keep on me. Um, so, yeah, we do have more meat back at base. We got a bunch of wood. Go ahead and take a bunch of this right now. We have no guns yet. Um, we will we will be getting ourselves some guns. I looted that camp. We didn't get any guns. But we... Uh, yeah, so I need stone in order to craft those. But I want to go ahead and cook up some of this meat really quick. So all that's cooked up. That away. Oh, no, I want to keep those. And now we're going to make some of the stun arrows. Okay, so we got a couple stacks of the stun arrows. We're up to, what, 25? That should be more than enough. Um, bandage with sumac. So I can go ahead and make some sumac bandages. We'll learn that. Uh, well, we need cloth, though. I think we can turn flax into cloth, right? Yep. So we're actually going to... We're going to send our, our guys out. Get us some more flax. Gather. So we get we can start making a bunch of cloth. Send two of them out. Gather flax. Uh equip them with the bows, sure. Just in case they run into any people. Now that we know there is a lot of settlements around us. Um better safe than sorry. Oh, I can make this, too. Shit, we need some rabbit pelts. Uh, this will allow me to make a little canteen so I can I, I can drink without having to walk to a river every single time I want to drink. Okay, so we got, we got tons of arrows. We should be good in that regard. Cloth, flak. Let me see. So, treatment, bandage with sumac. I got to get the sumac out of my... Base inventory. Go ahead and craft a couple of these. Awesome. So now we got some treatment stuff. Got some treatment stuff. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. We're definitely looking good. Go out, get some more meat. Yeah, I see that rabbit hunting area right there. I could probably grab those shitty arrows instead of wasting my better ones. Oh, they're not compatible. So you can't even use the shitty arrows with the... Oh, can this... So what... Ancestor bow, hunter bow, wooden bow. 
Okay, so if I want to use the um, the stone arrows there, I actually have to use one of my other bow and arrows because uh, the sinew back bow you can't shoot the the uh, stun arrows with. So we're actually going to go ahead and grab this, this, and I'm going to craft myself one of these wooden bows. Uh, yeah. The Native Americans and Cowboys, Johnny. Yeah, that shit's pretty cool, man. Like I said, this is a really, really uh, interesting... Generally, you play games like this, and the Native Americans are the bad guy. You're playing it from, the, like, the cowboy point of view. You, uh, This is one of the first games that I've seen where you're actually playing from, like, the Native American point of view. And it's really, really cool. It really is. Yes, yeah, so we got our bow there. All right, awesome. And shitty arrows. Got the shitty arrows. Or did, oh, I still have a mommy. Never mind. Make the hunting bow. I got to spend more skill points on that, but I'm trying to get, uh, save up my skill points for the uh, for some more skills. So I don't want to spend too much on crafting recipes right now. So the rabbit hunting area is right down here. Uh, as you're crafting, does your stats go down? Like, like what stats? I, I haven't noticed any stats go down uh, since I've been crafting. You talking like hunger and thirst? see any oh still gotta go further Oh, what is that? Might have imprisoned warriors. Yo, I lost... Oh, shit. So, I think one of... Yeah, I'm down to two out of eight. I had three warriors, so I think one of my warriors was out and got captured. What the hell is going on? Seriously? There's no way, dude, that this is... We're gonna have to hit this camp, rescue our warrior. I didn't even notice that I lost a warrior. Man, there is a lot going around, uh, like, on around us. Wow. Big, big structure here. Yeah, this place is super established. What the hell, man? Ah, uh, they use guns and stuff. Yeah, they have guns.
So I'm gonna drop a sound bait right here. They didn't hear it over the rain. Yeah, it's a pretty big camp, actually. There's a lot of guys here. That was my bow skill is really, really bad still. I don't know how close I have to get to hit this dude in the head. I think we can probably liberate them out of that cage there. What the hell are they all looking at in the window? It's super sketchy. I could call for some of my warriors to come over here and assist. But we just don't have a whole lot of armaments at the moment. So I'd be bringing them over here with some bow and arrows. Legit. To fight guys with guns. Okay, here we go. This guy's getting a little close. Getting a little too close. All right, so I can intimidate him, right? First, let's loot him. Um, intimidate.
So when you intimidate them, what do they run off? Nah, I hit him with a stun arrow. I don't know why the arrow was sticking through his face. So we got one guy out of here already. Okay, I think I can see my warrior right there in the, that cage. A little light on the... Oh, no, there's two guards on this side. But can come back and, and uh, warn the camp. Oh, shit. Once I increase my stealth skill, I feel like I'd be in a better better spot too. Does anybody know what's like the, the, the best way to farm up um skill points? I can use the gun I got. Yeah, yeah, you can you can go ahead and equip the guns. Um the problem is I I've been I put all my points into bow. Bow skill. So right now if I, I could spend points and increase my weapon accuracy, but yeah, if I try to shoot that pistol right now, my accuracy is gonna be trash. Um, but yeah, at this point, I feel like we're, having, we're gonna have a hard time liberating our warrior here. We're not leaving without him, so even if I have to kill a bunch of people, it is what it is. But honestly, I should probably clear this camp. Oh, two of them out here taking a piss. What's going on here? So we didn't take any bad injuries there. All right, we're going to have to go lethal here. Got way too close to him. Make sure I didn't take any uh, injuries. Yeah, I'm not bleeding or anything. We're good. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't pursue me that far. Might actually just wait and come back in the in the night. We got to camp an outpost right here. So if I rest at an outpost, will it automatically make it nighttime? It, uh, th yeah, that was the question I had earlier. I didn't I didn't see any answers in chat. Uh, is there a way to like just wait out the the day and make it night? Well, we're about to clear this place out. Uh, smoke your pipe. There we go. Yep, see. Yep, when you rest, 
during the day, it makes it night. Awesome, yeah. So we're gonna head back in here. Um, I might be able to do the stunning thing. I don't know. I feel like I should just, I should kill these guys because you know they took one of my warriors hostage. Period. So many enemies around us. This is bad. Very hungry, very thirsty. Let me eat and drink really quick. I mean, they did take a hostage. You know what I mean? So we got a guy right here. And I could literally just lay his ass down forever with this bow. So it's like, do I do I just go hostile and kill them all? And liberate this place completely? Or do we knock them all out? Uh, I don't think you can go prone. Yeah, you could do stealth kills, like sneak up behind people and like kill them. Yeah, you could do it. Uh, my stealth is just really bad right now. Yeah, might as well liberate it, right? All right. Yeah, we'll kill him then. Of course he moves right when I decide to kill. Do you think that stealth uh, is more effective than... I feel like if you're good at stealth, yeah, it could be pretty effective um, compared to, like, killing everybody because you kind of just sneak in, uh, liberate your dude, get him out of there, you know what I mean, and not have to kill anybody. But the issue is these pe they're going to still be here. So it's always going to be... A if they captured my warriors once, what's to make me think that they're not going to do it again? You know what I mean? Um so I'd rather just get rid of the camp entirely. That way I just don't have to worry about it. So we got two guys coming this way. Yeah, you can liberate it. Um, I think you can burn it to the ground uh, and or settle in the area. I don't. I don't know. I, I only liberated one time before in my last episode. Where the hell are these guys at? I just seen two of them. I think that might be one sitting right there. Yep. Man is sleeping, dude. There it is. There's the beginning. War, baby.
Everman, how you doing? Arrows were going everywhere. The enemy! They're here! Shit. Hey, come out. I know you're there. Got a couple of them down. My bow skill is still really, really low. So that's why you'll see the arrows going in wacky directions sometimes. It's a pretty nice spot, too. I don't know how many are left. Try to get the angle on this guy. There's a couple warriors in here. Captive. Oh man, look at that repeater, dude. Sounds like that camp down here is talking. Somebody's on the porch. I kind of see him. I kind of made out. Fully clear out the buildings. I think that person's inside. Yep, definitely inside. Uh, it's got a shotgun. We got tons of money, man. If we can find a town, we can go freaking trade at. Can't fucking see. Think. Yeah. 
Yo, they got tons of goodies in here. Yeah, once we full clear this place, we'll call our guys in here to uh, come and help out. So let's go ahead and equip this repeater. Why not? Reload it. Want to test out the gun a little bit, see how we do. Come out! I know you're there! Show yourself! Slowly! It's crazy because they all have names. Got some goodies here. Definitely got some goodies. So damn dark. Can't tell if there's anybody else up here. Seems clear, though. I think we cleared out the camp. Here we go. Yeah, so we're going to call we're going to free these warriors over here. And then uh we're going to call a bunch of warriors over here to help loot because man is there a lot of stuff. Yo, there's a ton of uh warriors in here. here go. So that that's open. Uh so we can add to our war party. Actually, if I add them to my war party, can I uh, have them loot right now? Let me see here. So... I don't know how we'll just we'll just release him. It's fine. So I, I can put stuff on him. I can see I can put stuff on him. Oh, I can see it down there. War party. Is there
Can you move the base? I, I, I forgot what the button was. Oh, okay, yeah, there is the, uh, the war party command. Oops, wrong button. I'm trying to find the... Here we go. Um, so burn settlement. All horse. Oh, you can call your horse. Yep, you can rest. Smoke herbs. Lure enemy. Uh, emit coyote sound to attract enemy. Oh, man. We could throw stones. I didn't know any of this was here. Okay, let me, uh, let me call my horse. How do you actually do it, though? There we go. So the horse is now coming. All right. So let's take all of this. Look at this. We got pelts. We'll be able to use these in crafting. Some more sinew. Hey, war party guy. How do, you go away. How do I break up my war party? Yep. Send the nearest camp. So my war party is broken out. I'm, I'm actually going to call. Um, okay, we're overloaded. I'm going to call a bunch of warriors here, have them clear this place out, and then we'll burn it to the ground. We got a lot of ammo. All these barrels have loot in them. Look at this. Uh, let me see loot the bodies. Oh no, this is a uh, playing cards. Some more gun parts. All right, let me call. Let me go ahead and call my warriors to come here. Um. So we'll go to base, and then we say send to attack or collect items. Let's send them here. Send all seven of my warriors. Uh, have them burn the camp when cleared. Now, can I claim this place as my own? I don't think we, we would use the, we can't really use the land, right? Let me see. What options do I have here? Yeah, yeah so, so you can burn the settlements, but. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll call we'll call our warriors over here. We'll have them uh, loot this place out completely and then burn it to the ground. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clear it out. Definitely gonna clear it out. Send. All right, so they should be on their way over here. Take that. Grab some loot ourselves. Oh man, look at all this crap. I gotta. I, we're gonna have to figure out what the gun system is here. Like poison meals. So I don't know if you can like upgrade guns or build guns or what, but there's a lot of parts for the guns.
Yeah, weapon parts. We could probably make some. Um, I don't. Is, I don't know. Is this game? It, it seems like it's single player, but I don't know if there's more to it. Yeah. So we got some warriors are almost here. I mean, shit. By the time they get here, I'm gonna have the whole place cleaned up myself. Overloaded. Uh, you can upgrade guns. Yep. Okay, so our warriors are here. I was like, who the hell is that guy standing there? Okay, so our horse is full. I can't mount when I'm overloaded, of course. Get this crap back home. Zach, how you doing, man? Uh, you can send items to other players in the game. I see the in-game chat. Um, people talking and stuff like that. So once they're done looting that place, they're going to burn it down. We won't have to worry about it in the future. Oh, am I going? I should probably mark my uh, base here. Um, there we go. Is that a dog or something following me? We got a lot of dimes, too. We need something to drink. Uh, let me see, though. Bourbon. Max health for 30 seconds. Stamina. Mild thirst relief. Thirst quenching. Swanee donated $5. A three-legged dog walks into a saloon, his spurs clinking as he walks, his six-shooter slapping at his furry hip. He bellies up to the bar, stares down the bartender, and proclaims, I'm looking. Looking for the pan who shot my pa. <laughs> my pa. I'm looking for the man who shot my pa. So is he talking about his dad or the reason why he has three legs, Swanee? I see I, I see that 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 can have two meanings. Alright, so put the camp, put the camp, put the camp, put the camp. There we go. Camp to camp. Camp. All right. We also got the stag horns, too. We needed that to craft, I believe, um, a war bow. No, we need a bear claw for a war bow. We needed stag horns for the sinew back bow, but we already have one of those.
Oh, we got a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of food. We got a broken oil lamp. Don't know what we can do with that. Okay, we still got all those dimes. So what is this social thing? Events. Craft any items. Oh, I completed these. So there's like social events that go on. Kill enemies with Palmer repeater model, whatever, whatever, from the distance of 25 meters. Uh, if you kill 15 enemies in the time to complete it, you got 18 minutes to do it. Um, you can get uh, skill points, money, and more stuff. That That's pretty cool. That's a really cool looking uh, revolver there, too. Yeah, so there's a bunch of, like, community, like, challenges and shit here that you can, uh, get resources and stuff from. Wild, hey, Wiley, thank you so much. I do appreciate the sub. Wow, right here, um, this is available for 15, 17,500 skill points, um, Wound enemies in the heart. Oh, you need. Oh, man. Yeah, you got to spend skill points to participate in that. Screw that. Entering fee is 35,000 skill points. What is that key you can get? Oh, that's a good question. You can get some sniper rifles. What was that key right here? It's the jail key. So how my guys were locked up and it took me a long time to open that gate. Maybe that jail, that jail key will make it uh, faster. Exploding arrows. So mail. Howdy. Somebody sent me a mail saying howdy. Uh, my stash. What is this? I got 15,000 dimes? What is it? And I got trading tokens. These, I, this, uh, so I have trading tokens. I have dimes. That's my online stash. Okay, okay. I'm tracking. I'm tracking. tracking all right that's pretty cool so good day so trade good day warrior uh committed to learn affair oh excuse me ah so you can trade oh shit look at this so we can trade with other settlements online For instance, say we needed uh, bear pelts. We could buy for what? Uh, with the trade tokens here? Accept open mail letter for a solid toy. Accept letter. Oh, dude, what is that? That's crazy. Whoa, what happened? Accepting items. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, I, like I said, the first time we played this, I didn't even know any of this stuff was in the game. That's a shame. And then uh, you can sell stuff for the trade tokens. Yeah, it's so kind of like a like a like a uh, like an auction house almost. That's that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. I don't I don't know if we specifically need anything right now, but uh, that is pretty sweet. <laughs> like we got a lot of world to liberate here. Um, I can't even imagine how insane this gets. 
like to think we're still in this one little region and we're we just started working on this area here liberation wise Yeah, it, I, I just kind of just got overwhelmed by how big this game actually is. So there's a neutral camp over here with the average enemy. There's, they can join our camp. So you can find other camps of natives around and have them join you. I believe I... So, what happened to- I, I know we burned it down over there, but where'd my warriors go? Why do I only have two? Oh, there they are. Oh, I was like, dude, where the hell are they all? They're, they're back. Whew! Um, so they burnt the place down. It's gone. And I think you can send your warriors out on patrol. And it's kind of like, uh, I when they're out and about, I think it gives us visual stuff. <coughs> what the fuck? <coughs> Why are we just dying, dude? Severe alcoholic thirst. Oh, we got to go get something to drink really quick. Oh, uh, I think it was because we were very thirsty and I drank the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, we got to eat too. I'm about to eat and drink. My guy's a lightweight. That was his first ever uh, bottle of whiskey. Or bourbon. We gave him a whole bottle of bourbon. Okay, so it says our, our, our group is overpopulated. I think that's because I have nine people. Um, I don't know what to do about that, though. Okay, so now we're just straight up dehydrated. But I should be able to craft that canteen now. Dude, no. Oh, we're dying. Fuck, oh, dude. Okay. Let's see. Are we going to get better? Severe alcoholic thirst. Uh, I think we fucked ourselves up by drinking the alcohol on an empty stomach. Right, let's go ahead and eat. I, I, I'm worried we're just going to puke it right back up, though. Oh, dude. Um... Create camp orders for your warriors. Then you can have more warriors. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the one thing we haven't done yet is create camp orders. Let's see. Uh, I don't even remember how to do the... Oh, here we go. We can upgrade our camp with boar tusks. Uh, that will increase the amount of warriors that can live here. Some stag pelts, buffalo pelts.
tame horses, send a patrol, send to another camp. So how do, oh, here we go, orders. Uh, add an order. <coughs> Yo, my dude is fucking dying, dude. <coughs> we'll have somebody smoke a bunch of meat. Okay, so we got somebody smoking meat. Um, yo, you can really, you can have your people do a ton of stuff, man. We can have people making bandages. We can have people, yeah, you can have people doing all types of crafting and shit. Check my mail. For alcohol, how how wait how does how do you guys, how does this person know? Wait, is this you guys? How how are you doing that? For alcoholic thirst. Oh, I gotta be at my camp to accept the, that. You guys can like engage with me directly in this. That. That's wicked crazy. Wait, don't hell it, tell him it's. Wait, is that. Are you guys talking in in game chat? Hey! Oh, there it is. James, thank you so much for the sub, brother. I appreciate it. Yo, that's really cool, guys. I did not I did not know that was a thing. Chat's just over there in, in the in the game talking this whole time. Wait, so players can players can attack you? What? Wait, so can 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 you play with other people? Like can I can I play with other people and go attack like um settlements or is it is it single I thought it was single player. God damn the puking man. If you play this online. Oh shit, that's crazy. I didn't even know I had an online. Oh, oh I got the I got the points I need to. Accept letter. Oh, bears grease. There's a single player option. Um Oh, so no, like pure multiplayer where like multiple people are. I, I got you. I mean, even with the even the social though, it's still really really cool that you can even interact with other players. Um, that is really really cool. So I gotta get that bear grease. There it is. Take that out. This should help us out. Got to use the grease to soak up that alcohol, you know what I mean? Uh, we got a canteen here, actually. I don't even need a crap. Uh, I wonder if I can fill these up. Or does is it like an item that you... Oh, yeah, so I don't know if you use it or... Okay, so that one... It's empty. Yep, so you can you can fill them and stuff. Let me see. Does it tell me how much it holds? So I do got the canteen here.
Okay, yeah, so you can fill them, you can definitely fill them back up. Alright, let me check the map here. So we got this camp up here that I want to deal with, but we're going to have to do that at night. We got warriors going around just literally doing whatever they want. Wood gatherers. I, I, I can get on board with that. So all of our warriors are working. Um, there's a lot of management. Definitely a lot of management that you got to learn in this game. How to... Uh, like, I should have all my warriors armed with some type of weapons and stuff like that. There's definitely a lot of management, you know, getting your... I, like, what's the most warriors that you guys can have? If you, like, say you grow out and you have a bunch of different camps and stuff, what's the most warriors you guys manage? I, I want, like, some of you, like, super advanced guys. Like, people have been playing for, like, a really long time. Are we talking like 20, 30 warriors? Like, maybe even like four. Like, imagine if you could control like 50 warriors. It's a lot to manage. That's a lot to manage. Had over 300? That's an army! Damn ugly said 5,000? No way, dude. Over 5,000 warriors? So you could just set up a ton of camps and just have warriors all... Dude, that's insane. Yeah, uh, there's a lot to this game. There's a lot to this game, honestly. It, it is, it's really, really cool. Um, as I said, I wanted to jump in, give it another check. It, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I, I honestly think I'm going to probably spend a little more time playing this. Uh, it seems like, you know, you guys are enjoying it. If you guys are enjoying this game and you want to see more of it, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Uh, it it complements Red Dead Redemption really, really well because you're seeing it from, like, it's like that same time period. You know what I mean? But there is a lot of management in this game, and I think that's what I like about it, like resource management. Um, it has like a little like RT, not like an RTS, but like, you know, that 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 overall control. Uh, I could tell you, probably, you could probably put two, three hundred hours into this game and still not be very good at the management side of it. The map is huge. It, uh, you can just tell how big the map is. It, it's like crazy, crazy huge. takes 300 hours to get a feel for what to do that's crazy but again everybody thank you so much for hanging out uh we'll be dropping the stream down i'll be playing a little bit of red dead redemption 2 here in a little bit um so i i do appreciate you all hanging out i hope you guys are enjoying this and again if you have it on your way out smash that like button uh if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing it really really does help out and uh other than that i will see you guys in the next one peace